fans follow Tiger Woods as he makes his way to the 10th tee box during yesterday's final round of the US PGA Championship. Photo, Kyle Tirada, USA Today Sports It brought back memories of the bad old days of the M50 pool booths, a 30-minute traffic snarl up through a dizzying maze of freeways and overpasses to the banks of the Mississippi. If I was looking for a stress-free start to my week at the US PGA, this was not it. Rush hour on a hot and sticky Monday morning is not the best time to see the Gateway Arch, a 192-meter-high stainless steel monument that dominates the skyline of the Midwest city where the pioneers and would dock on their way west to seek their fortune. The tallest man-made monument in the Western Hemisphere, officially dedicated to the American people, it glinted in the misty morning sunshine in the corner of my right eye as I battled to get in. Lane, my vision alerted by a dashboard alert telling me I had just 24 miles worth of fuel left after the 300-mile drive with an overnight in Lincoln, Illinois, from Chicago to Missouri. The Pony Express, the Oregon Trail, the Santa Fe Trail and California Trail all began in Missouri, the point where the South meets the Midwest, a state that's given the world the likes of Harry Truman, Mark Twain, Walt Disney, Chuck Berry and, as Rory McElroy joked his first media conference, the rapper Nelly. You can find me in St. Louis where the gunplay ring all day, na na na, some got jobs and some sell yay, others just smoke an F asterisk asterisk K all day, St. Louis, by Nelly, a huge sports town, St. Louis hosted the 1904 Olympic Games and is home to the St. Louis Cardinals baseball team, winner of 11 World Series. It's also got a strong Irish heritage with many immigrants moving to an area between Melanfa and O'Fallon Streets downtown, known as the Kerry Patch, or to Dogtown, on the west side. El Reeve Country Club, situated on the west side of the city, hosted the U.S. Open in 1965 when Gary Player beat Cal Nagel in a playoff, as well as the PGA Championship in 1992 when Nick Price claimed the first of his three major wins. While it hosted the U.S. Senior Open in 2004, the BMW Championship in 2008 and the Senior PGA Championship in 2013, the venue did not get to host the WGC American Express Championship in September 2001 when the event was abandoned after the 9-11 terrorist attacks on the morning of the Tuesday practice rounds. Tiger Woods will never forget that day. He recalled, yeah, 2001 was a very surreal time, at least for me anyways. I had done an American Express clinic there, here in town, and I played a practice round with Calc, Mark Calcivecchia, and the tragedies that happened transpired. We tried to play the next day. I believe I was playing with Weir C, Mike Weir. One of the towers had fallen on the American Express building and a lot of people lost their lives. The people at American Express were struggling at the time, and I think Tim, Fincham, made the right move in cancelling the event. That was on the 11th, and I drove home on the 13th. 17 hours to get back home to Florida. It was a very surreal time for myself on that drive and a lot of reflecting, St. Louis waited 17 years for Woods to return for the event they call, the major with no ego. The blue-collar, Midwestern city embraced the event with a passion packing the venue from early on Monday to such levels that just moving around the areas near the clubhouse, the driving range and the huge merchandise pavilion was a struggle. Thunderstorms with the temperature pushing into the 90s Fahrenheit with 83% humidity, it was no surprise when thunderstorms forced the PGA of America to evacuate the course on Friday when thunder rumbled, and a thunderstorm further softened a long course already hit by an inch and a half of rain last Tuesday. That didn't dissuade the fans from making the pilgrimage to see Woods in the flesh, lining the fairways 10 deep or more to catch a glimpse of him tee it up alongside young guns McElroy and Justin Thomas. The PGA of America does not release attendance figures of the event but it was expected to smash the 200,000 barrier for the week. They have been unbelievable, Woods said, while former master winner Charles Schwartzel suggested, I don't think I've seen so many people at a golf tournament. It's been amazing, few were veteran golf watchers but that didn't curb their enthusiasm. 
let's go, beef, they shouted as the bearded Shane Lowry raced into contention with rounds of 64 and 69 on Saturday. Get him beef, Lowry still grinned, looking for all the world like one of those hardy pioneers who headed west from St. Louis to forge a new frontier in America. Irish Independent